welcome to day 21 of Advent. Our theme of the day is beginnings. When do you start getting ready for Christmas? We got ready today. Lots of Christians start with the first day of Advent, the 1st of December. My mum starts around the first day of school in September. She pulls out the Cliff Richard and Michael Bubbles records and she's off. God's people waited a thousand years for the first Christmas. When do you start getting ready for Christmas? Bye. Our Bible reading comes from Micah chapter 5 verse 2. The Messiah to be born in Bethlehem. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, are the smallest town in Judah. Your family is almost too small to count, but the ruler of Israel will come from you to rule for me. His beginnings are from ancient times, from long, long ago. Twenty-first reflection, when do you begin to prepare for Christmas? We've all been there in the shops and we get a little bit grumpy and annoyed that all the decorations are out far too soon. Uh, I wonder if you've had some preparations in your own household, uh, issuing cards or invitations for festivities. Uh, you can't start too soon. You don't want to leave it to a last minute rush to buy or wrap presents. But when did God start preparing for Christmas? Well, when we sing that wonderful carol in the little town of Bethlehem, uh, few people realise that in Micah's prophecy, Micah chapter 5 verse 2, it speaks of God, the one from of old, that this person, this child who would come from the little town of Bethlehem, his origins are from of old. So when God is preparing for Christmas, it's not just last month, it's not last year, it's not last decade, it's not 2,000 years ago, it's thousands and thousands of years ago. He whose origins are from of old. So wait for it, in the beginning God, even before the world was made, God was there. The origins of Christmas go back even further than the Big Bang. Even further than the Big Bang. So when you celebrate Christmas, he, our baby Jesus, whose origins are from of old. It's not just about the, the moment of Christmas. It's not just about the celebration. Somehow with your future, you're connecting with the past of God and the life of God himself. St Paul says you're predestined. Uh, in the beginning, God made the world. And you started all those years ago in the plan and heart of God where Christ was and actually all those years ago when you were thought of in love to be with Christ whose origins are from of old when you believe and trust in him you will carry on with love and faith in your heart in Christ not just tomorrow or next week or next year or the next 10 years but when you die and on into all eternity because a little town of Bethlehem our Jesus his origins are from of old and the one born was born to give us eternal life. Your challenge for today, after thinking about the beginnings of things, is to find the first time the name Jesus is mentioned in the Bible. And I'm not talking about a prophecy about him, I mean the word Jesus. So, I'll give you a clue, it's in one of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke,